Afternoon. Um, I'll just wait for a few more people to come on. Um, and I know that I'm a little bit late, so I've just stepped out of uh, another meeting. I've been in meetings all day, actually. Um, I hope you're well. Exciting about um, end of lockdown tonight. Um, but I think I might continue with these um, with these lives. So I just might change the time. We'll just get back to you on that one. Today, um, for those playing catch up, what we're cooking. I'm going to make some sushi for my kids' lunchbox for tomorrow. Yum. Yeah, yum. So, hey Sally. So I'm going to do some sushi rice in one of the uh, thermos and I'm going to do a raspberry cheesecake for dessert tonight. I have been working all day um, on my desktop. Hey Rebecca. So it has been a little bit late and I'm thinking about having another barbecue. So I'll show you a really, really quick recipe for the raspberry cheesecake and uh, the sushi rice. We'll get started. Hi, Jan. Um, okay, so on, I'm just gonna flip me around a little bit more to my other thermo. Oh, wrong way. Uh, that's the way. Okay, so this thermo over here, we're just going to my menu plan. And what I've, my, what I've got in here already is glutinous rice. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> So this is glutinous rice in here that I've pre-weighed and I've got one liter of water. Now the other day when I was doing rice, when I was doing the water, I talked about the levels on your bowl. Um, so you can just fill it up to your one liter mark here. Hi Stella. And I've already pre-programmed and I'm doing the, um, the sushi rice. I'm not going to do the recipe as per se. I'm just going to be doing um, a version of my own and filling it with, you know, the kids can help me roll those out later. Just want to cook the sushi and not the sushi, the rice. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm ready for a wine. Um, how about you? <laughs> so we've got a thousand grams of water in here and I've got 250 grams of um, glutinous rice, which is important that it's glutinous. Just gonna turn that up. Sorry. Um, oh, wrong way. <laughs> and uh, insert the cup and it's going to cook it now if you've seen my um if you've seen my um videos before and my tips on rice i have shared with you my rice recipe and that is up to 370 grams of rice in your basket hi everybody that's coming on give me a wave give me something to say you're here and let me know what thermomix you've got type it into the chat for me so up to 360 grams of rice goes in and just the water just to the bottom of the um, thermomix basket that's inside your machine and you're going to do that for 14 minutes it's about a thousand grams or just under and you cook that for 14 minutes on um, varoma temperature speed four now with the sushi rice um, we're gonna wash it well we're gonna wash our rice too so to wash your rice without rinsing it under the tap we're gonna spin it up to speed six for six seconds so before um, what I'm gonna do on mine I'm gonna override the speed up to six and just let that wash that rice and then I can simply let it cook so that set the timer for 16 minutes um, and I think that's probably too much. My rice has always worked out when I've done 40 and then I leave it in the bowl to rest for another couple of minutes. So I'm just going to reduce that time on this recipe down to 14. Saving me a couple of minutes, not much, but um, you can get on with the other recipe. Um, and get out your other ingredients for the rice. It's just gonna have rice wine vinegar and a bit of sugar and a little bit of salt. Um, but I'll show you that after we get on to the dessert factor. So we'll come back over this way and we'll do the dessert. So I hope that tip's been helpful regarding your rice. I don't want to see all my body. <laughs> I normally have all this um, option to set myself up. So raspberry cheesecake. Now it's asking for um, it's asking for leaves, the um, the gelatin leaves, and to soak three of them. If you don't have gelatin leaves and you're using gelatin as a replacer, one tablespoon of gelatin is equivalent to four leaves, or let's do 
depending on the strength of your, if you've got the gold strength where your sand is probably a little bit more, um, that's a rule of thumb for you as well. So just soaking those and we're going to add the cream cheese. Being that I've just got off the meeting, um, I just need to get that out of the fridge. Be back in a sec. shop the other day and I said, can you get me some cream cheese? That's actually what it's called on the brand, but he doesn't know cream cheese. It's cream cheese, he knows it is Philly cheese. So he came home with a jar of spreadable cream cheese. Cool guy. Um, <laughs> God love him. He's gone back and he's got me the right thing. So he's such a good man. Okay, in 300 grams it's going to go in. Now, I don't normally buy um, cream cheese like this. As I said, my husband does work for me and appreciate that. I'm sure it's the same. Are you dessert fans? Um, oh my gosh, it's really thick, isn't it? I hope you can hear me okay if you can't tell me. And um, cream cheese. And 50 grams of raspberries are going to go in. So, um, school tomorrow. I'll be doing some more lunchbox prep tonight. And I'm just buying the frozen raspberries. And I'll use those to decorate them. <laughs> when I clicked on this recipe, it said, do you want to resume or restart? And I just clicked resume. <laughs> so I'm at the end stage, but that's okay. We're just going to add the lemon and sugar going in here. that it doesn't over whip so it won't be very long I'll just get my other bowl out
Don't want to go over. I'm just keeping an eye on the inside of the hole. So it's really important that you take out the, um, the measuring cup so you can see what you're doing. And that's looking good. So if, if you've got normal cream, you don't have the double cream, it's nice and thick, it's not gonna move, um, then you can um, just whip it longer. And that's gonna set aside, so I'll just do that. And that's gonna set aside in the fridge to get a bit chilled whilst I do the base. Now, the base was supposed to be done first. But I was halfway through the recipe. What a deal. Okay, so we're just gonna go into recipe detail and then go back to the start. And add my um, peels and skin. grams of digestive biscuits are going to go in. So quiet here. There we go. A bit more. And a few more for a cup of tea. <laughs> Lid on. And measuring cup. You can have some sushi. change the amount of chimes it's doing. Did you know you can do that? If you go into menu, so mine's set to 10 seconds and that means my Thermomix rings three times before it um, stops talking to me. That's how I like it. <laughs> you can have it done for 30 seconds, you could do a minute, 
you can do 15 minutes and you can do unlimited. So when it comes to you, it's always set to unlimited. And you need to manually change it yourself. So you're going to um, the three parallel lines on the top left hand side and then you do um, settings and sounds, volume for the click button and so forth. Um, you can find it in there. Uh, what have we got? Love the look of your red spatula. Thank you. <laughs> It, um, I got a bit clever one day and I decided oh, I've been doing Thermomix for a while I can stick this in it's not going to touch the blade I've lost the tip of my blade I lost the food that I was making um, yes and I learned a valuable lesson only put your Thermomix spatula in your Thermomix when the blade is on So that's nice and moussey in here for the um, cream cheese mixture. And we're just going to pop in our buttery crumb into the cake tin. So if you want a thinner base, maybe use a wider cake tin. And if you're happy with a thicker base, go with um, the 20 centimeter one. So we've got two cake tins on our store. And um, Victorians, you received an email yesterday, so make sure you check your email for that special um, that special email just for you. Contact your consultant to ask them what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, there we go. So that's just going to get pressed in. Give it a bit of a shimmy, and then I'll press that in with a spoon to get that nice and flat. Next. Set aside in the fridge. I've done the cream. We're back to the recipe. And I'm going to do the um, mixture. So it does say, it does say with the cream cheese to add the, add the cream cheese and the gelatin and the raspberries, but I've already done that. So I'll just skip past that. This is actually the second time I've made this in a good uh, four months, I suppose. So bear with me while I uh, get catch up to myself. So we're gonna add the gelatine. Now I have been soaking this. It's probably soaked a bit too long. And I did too much. So then I thought, oh, this is a bit much. I, then I, that's when I Googled and that's when I found out you only need one tablespoon of gelatine to um, four, four um, leaves. My rice is cooked, so we'll just go back over to this recipe. Place two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, and one car um, teaspoon of caster sugar and salt in a small bowl and stir until dissolved. So that's that. Leave simmer in the basket in position for a couple of minutes to drain and then remove with the aid of spatula. So you would have seen on my post earlier about the um, rest position in your Thermomix. So just pop your uh, spatula in there and give it a rest on the bowl like that and leave it to rest. And then we're going to sprinkle the um, vinegar sugar over the rice in a moment. So dissolved gelatine has gone in. Daughter's disconnected to me and take those out. Um, turn that up. I'm just going to know, actually, I'm going to use my other spoon. So these are salad servers that I've got as a gift. I really love them. They're like little hands and you can just scoop it out. The, um, the round flat base makes pressing your cheesecake so easy. So I love that as well. We're just gonna press that in. Look how easy that is. Now, if you don't have something fancy like this, 
I wouldn't even know. I think a kitchen shop, you'll find um, groovy salad service. Um, you can just use a spoon, a large serving spoon. I'm not professing to be Martha Stewart <laughs> by any means. Um, just someone who's very passionate about their Thermomix. Um, do you all have a Thermomix if you're on today? You all know that we have an offer. Do your friends know that we have an offer to purchase a Thermomix this month? You go in the draw to win the cost of your Thermomix back. How amazing if that was you and you were on the and you were wanting a Thermomix anyway. That would be amazing. I would love that. Now this recipe looks to me like it needs a little bit more butter. So I'm not sold on that recipe base. Um, that is mousse that you will have after. But let's see how it goes when I put it in the fridge and see if that makes a difference. So that's what it looks like now. Just pop that in the fridge. Reserved cream is going to go in here. That should have been in the fridge, but that's okay. All of that's going in. Probably could have done that in one step. So if that was me, I'd probably make this a bit quicker next time I make it. Lid on. On speed three. Easy peasy, and that's kind of it. So I just want to close my cupboard so you can see what's in my cupboard. <laughs> Good old teenagers, always hunting the kitchen for food. And then we're just going to fold the rest of that in if it hasn't mixed properly. By hand, and then that's just going to go into the um, dessert mixture. Now I just want to check that that's okay. Perfect, gorgeous. So we'll just mix that in and that's just gonna get folded and popped it into the base. I'm just gonna check the base um, and then I might come back to you after I check the base so that I can um, give it a bit more whiz if I need to. Before I go, I'm going to show you the um, rice so we're going to put that into a bowl here's our beautiful thermo server so this weekend we've actually got a leaders cooking class on um, I'm not presenting for this one but my colleagues are and it's their favorite so they've chosen um, their favorite recipes to showcase you it's on Saturday at 1 o'clock if you would like to have the link to book in um, please comment below and I will forward it to you if you're in my customer group um, you will have the link access ready now the other thing is um, if you are bringing um, two friends along to the cooking class and we set that up prior you can go in the draw to uh, not go in the draw <laughs> I'm so tired um, you can um, you can access host rewards. That's what I wanted to say. So two friends, and you get host rewards, and you get to watch in the comfort of your own home, and learn so much more. Now these lives that I'm doing are very much daily, spontaneous um, recipes that I'm doing. I'm just going to sprinkle this on. And when we do cooking classes, I actually put in a lot of extra effort to plan and make sure we have lots and lots of tips so if you haven't seen one of um the cooking classes that my team have done before or the leaders i really encourage you to come along you'll learn lots and lots and lots of tips 
if you don't have a Thermomix and you'd like to come along as an opportunity to see a little bit more with Thermomix, it's a brilliant way to see more um, without leaving your home. So it's, it's perfect. And if you'd like to have an in-person session with me um, or you know your consultant, um, reach out, reach out to me if you'd like me to come over and have a cook up. I've been doing them um, with owners quite frequently and um, we just have the best time. They learn so much. Um, and um, you can see some of those reviews on my page as well. So really encourage you to reach out and have me in person. I'll have your colleague, I'll have your consultant in person. You just learn so much from them as well. So we're just gonna toss that in and that's just gonna settle and get cold um, for me to put into the sushi later on. Now I just buy the seaweed um, strips. I've just got some um, sushi seaweed um, flat, um, flat nori sheets and you can get them in different brands. So this one is your flat nori sheet. This one is actually if you're making a furikake um, seasoning which is a really if um, really beautiful seasoning to put on crackers and this is seaweed that's um, sort of clumpy and you just need to chop it up in your thermomix that actually goes really nicely in a seasoning that you can put on all sorts of things in, including your crackers and here's another brand as well of nori sheets as well so pick these up from your Asian supermarket pick them up from Coles making sushi is great I'm gonna fill mine with some cucumber um, my son loves um, tuna so we'll be doing some in tuna as well and yeah um, pretty simple in our house pretty simple and you can also buy the seasoning as well or you can make your own seasoning um, too so it's, it's quite simple now the other day I spoke to you about um, my dessert cones so let me just let me just show you those as well if we're on the topic of dessert. So you can buy um, molds. I'll just unwrap one to show you. You can buy these molds from your kitchen shop. They're like little cones. You can go to Lingcraft, Spotlight. They all have them as well. They come in a packet. Even sometimes a two dollar shop, you'll pick them up. So grab a couple, and this is what they look like. And these are like little cones, cannoli cones, not all that, actually not cannoli cones. Um, they're called horns, so in, in food terms when we're using them, make cream, cream horns, or you can do like little um, cones, little waffle cones, um, whatever. So then I've used Hi Kim, how are you going? Hi Ray, oh, there's so many people on here. I'm Linda that are watching. Just want to say good day. So, I've used um, the silicon molds from the big shop again, and that's because when you bake these in the oven, they actually need to stand up. And because they are on an angle like this, they don't stand up too well on a tray. So if you use your little round silicon mold like this, which you can get from the mix shop. So if you go up to the top, you'll see my buy button, my shop now, and you can click on shop now, remove what you don't need from the cart and just adjust it and pop in these molds um, because they're fantastic for this sort of thing. They're fantastic for steaming desserts, um, puddings, even doing eggs in them. They're great and they're great for standing up these cones. So I've just wrapped them up in here. And I might show you quickly. I'll just, oh, you got time? You're all watching, so why not? Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is very off the cuff, okay? Very off the cuff. <laughs> the, only, the only thing I found when I was using this the other day is I had to, I've got puff pastry that I need to use up. Just bought it from the supermarket. I haven't gone Martha Stewart on you and made it myself, don't worry. I'm a busy mum, I've got four kids. So I've just done, um, now I hope, I'm gonna have to tag my, my friend, who I said, and they've been in the fridge, so it's a little bit hard to separate. Okay, 
beautiful. This back here. Got a bit of a mess in my kitchen today. Not normally the case. <laughs> All right. And what you want to do is just cut them into strips. So with a knife, you're just going to cut them into thin strips. I'll bring you down a little bit so you can see. Because these are going to get wrapped around your cone. Normally I'd cut them in half, half again, and go that way. Uh, but there we go, that'll do. And then what you do is you get it. Now, you can do it a few ways. You can get it on there and roll it around, or you can do it um, on here. So you just want to wind it around, really, that's it. I'll just wind these around and I think I cut them in half as well I can't remember what I did yesterday but it's the first time I've made them and the kids are eyeing them off and they want me to fill them up so I need to show you today so they can eat them so then you've just got a cone now do not go over the edge don't don't put it over the edge you won't get them out okay so um, they just go on that like that and then you stand them up in your little silicon mold and you probably should spray these as well because you don't want them sticking and then what you'll do after is you'll just brush them with egg and bake them so I'm actually um, currently formulating an Easter class with my team, um, which you'll see um, go live soon. And I'm going to show you some ways to use these cones as well. I just think they're really cute. Now you can do savory cones. Um, I could do a whole event on cones. <laughs> um, now if my niece is watching, <laughs> yeah, that would be different. Okay, um, so here we go, we just wrap those up, like that, here you go, and just making your cone, and we keep going like that, so looks like a little hat, in it goes, and you're just going to keep going with that, and then, as I said, you give them a brush, and you bake them, and um, when you're finished, I'll just see if there's any more people saying talking to me. <laughs> um, when you're finished, this is this is what they turn out like. So now I have these cones, quite solid, like really great for the pastry. So before you bake them, you can stick those um, cones back in the fridge to chill them, and then go straight into a warm oven. To make sure it's hot. So make sure they're cold. Make sure the oven's hot, and you get that puffy um, pastry that you want. Um, if you've left your pastry out too long, it just doesn't puff, and that's what happened with some of these. So um, yeah, now I'm going to be. Um, I love the cones too, Charlotte. I'm so glad you said that. Hi, Andy. <laughs> I don't know where you're watching from, but. You're in this house somewhere um, and I'm going to pipe um, some filling so why don't you help yeah <laughs> um, yeah you can tell me what you would like to fill um, the cones with and you could do the strawberry mousse you could do a mousse like I've just made and pipe that in it'll be beautiful um, you could do savory cones and 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 um, instead of using um, plates to serve you could actually serve in these that would be pretty amazing so if Kirsty's watching um, there's an idea for us and um, you could do so many things and I'd probably go on Pinterest and have a look at all the beautiful pictures that have coins in them to get some more ideas as well so um, that is it I'm going to do my dessert you'll see some pretty pictures I think my base which I'll go and check now my need just not it uh, it's actually quite firm 
I'm just not sold on, on um, the texture. So I'm probably gonna pop that back in and put a little bit more butter in, probably another 10 grams. So I think it said 80 grams. I'm gonna start with 10, see if that gives me a nice consistency. And um, if it doesn't, I'll add another five to 10 each time and um, make a beautiful base and then I can pop my mousse and then we'll, um, I'll decorate with that with strawberries. So let me just show you the recipes from my machine in person. So you can try these and please, if you do try them, please, ta please tag me, please um, send me a picture. Um, I just love um, showing, showing things but um, it's really nice to get some feedback. So if you have any feedback at all from me, for me, um, please pop it in to the chat and let me know what you think of my lives. Let me just show you my menu, weekly planner. Now, I think I had the phone around the right way. Hopefully I have. So that's the seafood and, cre and um, cream cheese rolls. I'm not gonna do that filling, just choose my own. Um, that was for the sushi. Now over here, if you go up to here and you click on the other icon up here, you'll pull up your calendar. Then what you can do with that is you can just slide along and you can see all of the other things here as well. So you can see I've been a bit busy planning and the dessert, oh, stop doing that. The dessert I would, oh, stop doing that. <laughs> the dessert I was going to do is this one. This is the raspberry cheesecake. Come on, there we go. Beautiful, really, really quick and easy. Um, well worth trying. Anyway, um, I hope that you've learned some new things today and I will see you again tomorrow. Um, bye for now.